Hello and welcome to episode 39 of the Flight Sim Historian. For this episode, we are going to be looking at the Grumman E2 Hawkeye. The Hawkeye is a all-weather, carrier-capable, tactical, airborne early warning aircraft designed in the late 1950s and early 1960s to replace the Grumman E1 Tracer. The Hawkeye was first flown on the 21st of October of 1960 and introduced into United States Navy service in January of 1964. The A model of the aircraft entered service with the United States Navy in 1964, but problems with inadequate cooling of avionics led to newer systems having to be implemented in the production of the B model that entered service just a few years later. The C model, which entered service in 1973, was the most used variant seeing service up to the present day. The D model is the most recent addition to the Hawkeye family, featuring an entirely new avionics suite, including radar, satellite communications, improved engines, a glass cockpit with multifunction displays, and the addition of in-flight reviewing capability. The Hawkeye's first military deployment was aboard the United States aircraft carrier USS Kitty Hawk in 1965. It was in use during the Vietnam War, as well as smaller engagements up to the present day. Operators of the E-2 Hawkeye have included Egypt, France, Japan, Mexico, Taiwan, Israel, Singapore, and the United States. The Hawkeye is powered by a pair of Allison slash Rolls-Royce T-56 turboprop engines with power outputs of 5,100 horsepower each. The maximum speed of the Hawkeye is 400 miles per hour. It has a range of 1,700 miles and a service ceiling of 34,700 feet. Now the model that we have here for this video today is the Vertavia model, which is an FSX Steam exclusive, so I have no idea if it works on P3D. It was released about two years ago. I don't see it very often in other people's videos, and so uh, yeah, I'm pretty much the only person I've ever seen flying it. See, it's got a very nice external model. I have no idea why it decides to do that to me. about getting these engines started up.
taking off from Oceana Naval Air Station. Just gonna be just a bit gnarly. Uh, 